anchor, right? It's iconic. Every Marine's got a tattoo of it. That's what we're getting. But Jack opts for a little bit of a different version and he replaces the globe with the head of a bulldog. So now that he's cool enough, he's going out every night, he's drinking with the Marines, he's partying before they get shipped off to war. And this is where things start to go a little sideways. He starts getting into a little bit of trouble. One day they're at this outdoor bar. He's wearing his garrison cap, also known as a piss cutter. And he's talking to a group of women with his friend group. And then some other group of Marines comes up and the biggest guy there picks on him because he's the shortest. He's 5'8", but he's 180 pounds. He's stocky. He's a boxer. He's not the first, I think he's 15 at this point. He's not the first 15 year old that you'd want to mess with. So this older Marine attempting to punk him, walks up to him, grabs a hat off the top of his head and turns it sideways ways and says hey you look like napoleon at which point jack immediately knocks this dude out cold so he gets into a little bit of trouble for that then the weekend comes around and one of the marines has a brilliant idea hey we're in california we should go to tijuana so now the 15 year old marine is going to party with all the other marines in, in tijuana 